We bought this project three years ago. Um, it had been a school for 50 years and we wanted to convert it to a 40 bedroomed hotel. It was um, heated by a coal-fired system, um, but the, um, the, the boilers were faulty and the pipe were, um, was uh, surface mounted and didn't suit the hotel sort of situation. So straight away we had no heating. For the first year we managed from literally uh, coal fires, uh, logs, um, colour gas heaters, electric heaters and anything we could lay our hands on, so we had heaters everywhere hidden. Um, then we fitted the uh, biomass system and it's a progressive job really. We've now got two boilers and we anticipate at some stage needing a third boiler. Um, I can say that our uh, heating bill when we were using electric and colour heating was enormous, probably about £2,000 a month. Certainly once we um, started running from the biomass system, our bill went to zero because of the RHI payment. So we noticed immediately a massive difference. But of course, we've got 20 years now of basically free heat and that's a massive saving. So the, uh, the maths was very, very easy once we looked at the different options. We've got at the moment 299 kilowatt boilers and we run it as two separate systems which gives us the full benefit of the RHI benefits. Um, we anticipate that we're going to need a third uh, boiler in about another 12 months or so. Eventually we will be a 40 bedroomed hotel so um, three boilers then will, will cover us for everything. So at the moment we are manually feeding it. We're still looking on our behalf into designing um, a self-feed auger system. Literally on the maintenance side, we have um, engineers on the, on the building project, so one of them uh, checks the boilers on a daily basis. Um, as far as the ash pan is concerned, we check that weekly, but we know now from experience it only needs emptying about once a month.